Thank you. Tell, tell everybody what's in the cup. It's um, mezcal. Lola, I thought Lola was, out. I thought Lola was giving me, um, uh, excuse me, I thought Lola was giving me some water or some Sauvignon Blanc, and it turns out it was mezcal, so I only I'm had a I'm trying to get Anne drunk, too. Yeah. Anne lit is lit. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I would like for you all to meet Izzy, Lola, Haley, Automatic. Welcome. Y'all, KCRW live from Apogee. It is incredible to be here with all of you tonight, and I want to thank all of you all for coming and joining us in this uh, new brave world we find ourselves in post-COVID. And really, you guys are, the you uh, folks are the first people we've really had so thank you for coming appreciate it it's an honor thank you for having us so y'all were at kcrw in 2019 uh doing a performance off of your debut album signal which we all loved and um yeah travis holcomb who couldn't be here tonight who sends his regards and um, i called him and i said what is your you know, vivid memory of being with Automatic? And he was talking about your story, Izzy. Oh, yeah. um, and just to set the scene for those of you who don't know uh, the band and don't know uh, this great group of women who are sitting here tonight, um, Izzy had just had an experience, which we won't dwell on tonight because we have a lot of other stuff to talk to, but you had just been electrocuted, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, I almost died. But no, it was fun. <laughs> I was electrocuted. I don't know if anyone's had that experience before, but it's kind of, you know, a trip. So. But you were like, like for five minutes, you were like down yeah, and out. Yeah, it was a long time. I had to have like a skin graft surgery. Um, I saw like trippy DMT visuals. <laughs> but then she suddenly knew how to play. Something. Then I knew how to play, speak five languages <laughs> and play music. And then our band shot into superstardom, so I think it worked out. I think y'all are doing all right. So anyway, welcome. I'm glad you're good. <laughs> Me too. Um, and um, so when we saw you in 2019, you had just put out your debut album. What I want to know now is, what have you learned since then? What would you like to say to your younger self, your 2019 self who came to talk about Signal, now you're here with your brand new album, Excess. What would you like to say to your younger selves now that you've been through what you've been through? Um, <laughs> Haley? <laughs> uh, I feel like, well, we've gotten a lot more comfortable with our instruments, and I would like to say to younger Haley, like, don't worry, you'll, you'll get better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're definitely a band formed with a lot of anxiety. <laughs> so we're afraid even though we look cool. <laughs>
does it surprise you that, I mean, you guys just played with Tame Impala, Parquet Courts, you're playing with bands that are icons, right? So how, how do you feel about that? Where does that come from? It is surprising. <laughs> I mean, it's not surprising to me listening to you all, right? I'm on the outside looking in. And what I see is like, I can't believe it. But what does that feel like for you all? I mean, <clears throat> I think we just kind of embrace like all the challenges and it gets, it's scary, but even like a rock star like wants to throw up before they go on. So it's like all kind of a sh charade, you know. All right. So all right. So then let's talk about touring for a second. Tell me some bad shit thing that happened on tour with Tame Impala or Parquet Courts or with whomever. I mean, come on. There's got to be like, bring it. That, that day that like we played, the second night we played with Tame Impala, it like almost, we didn't know if we were going to go on until right before like five minutes before we found out because there was this crazy storm and the whole show might have been canceled. Where were you? Columbus. Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was and, really horrible weather. Yeah. And then we played open for Tame Impala and then it was terrifying. And then we had to go home to our hotel, pack up all of our stuff and go to the airport and fly to London. At like five in the morning or whatever. Get off yeah. the plane and play a festival and yeah, that was pretty intense. Yeah. How do you feel standing on the side stage, I guess, and wondering if you're actually going to go on and now it's like a Tame Impala show and, you know, you guys are coming off your debut album. Like, what is the feeling in that moment? Are you all like... Sickness. Horror. <laughs> Terror. <laughs> Alcoholism. <laughs> that always helps. Yeah. Um, always. Excitement. I mean, it's just like, life is short. As I know, <laughs> I'm almost yeah. dying. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> you just have to like have fun, right, Lola? Yeah. Right, Haley? Come yeah. on, Lola. Lola, you must have some sort of a. Well, Lola about... was Lola was raised behind huge stages because her dad is in Bauhaus, <laughs> so she always. I know. Is like, I was this gonna... is nothing, you guys. <gasps> I was out. waiting for you to say that. It's like no, Lola's. You you have been around this for a long time. What is it like? growing up around that, and then now you've got your own thing going on. Um, and is your family here tonight? No. They, they're, they've they been to every no. other show, but I didn't invite them tonight. I thought I'd be independent. <laughs> well done. No, but no, what's up They're like? very supportive, and I feel really lucky, and I don't know, it's just very unique experience, having parents that like support you being an artist, yeah. and I feel grateful. Cool parents. Yeah, it's a kind of a burden though because it's like they're kind of cooler than me. And so I'm constantly comparing myself to my parents. Yeah, that's it's rough. It's a different trauma that no one can relate to. It's a chemical incision. Playing in your mind, watching in the distance, hiding from behind. When your hands grow tired and your eyes shut tight, do you hear them talking? It's a parasite. Question about the song NRG. Um, I don't know if you want to tell everybody who 
Patrick Cowley is, if you all want to tell everybody where the song comes from, as somebody who a um, little bit older than y'all and you know knew about Patrick and Giorgio Moroder and and that scene back in the day, would you all tell everybody a little bit about that and and what inspired that and and what about Patrick's music inspired you? Yeah, I mean, just stylistically, Patrick Cowley is really cool. I don't know his. He's from like an underground New York, San Francisco scene, gay culture. 70s. 70s. Like he, his music sounds like so current. So uh, we're just huge fans of his music. And it wasn't related exactly to like the, what the song energy is about, but his genre was called high energy. And it was just about like having a really good effing time I don't want to curse but <laughs> having a good time you can curse we're gonna edit this okay so. um yeah I don't know he's just a cool dude and um we're fans of the underground so we wanted to pay homage you can't be yourself you're afraid and defeated a message in your head now your dream doesn't matter I want to talk about the whole late stage capitalism thing because I was reading about, I've been reading about it a bunch and I think we've all been feeling it, but one of my observations about what you all are doing and, and others have you know noted it in the press and whatnot um, is your observations on your album about everything from sort of dystopian like whatever to hope, but also addressing sort of the consumerism that's overtaken our culture. And it seems to be something really important to you all. Can one of one or all three of you tell me what you think about all of this? That's always been a part of America and a part of like Western culture, but I think the cracks are showing more and more now and it's like not even as like subtle anymore, you know, it's like bye, 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 whatever, as the world is burning. So, right. I mean, we always look to bands like Devo that handle that subject in a very like non-judgmental artistic way. And I think that's when, that's why we went with maybe a stylized way of approaching that material. Um, yeah, I mean, we're pissed off, we're hopeful, we're all like the things that everyone here probably feels and... Um, yeah, I feel like the album like helped us process a lot of the thoughts that we had about it during the pandemic as we're like kind of watching the world crumble due <laughs> to overconsumption, you know, and capitalism, just all of the ways that it affects people. Thank you so much for being here tonight. This has been really incredible, um, right? 
Thank you. But, and, and the thing is, I have so many questions we could be here all night, but I want to I wanna close with asking you about the patriarchy. Um, <laughs> just a light last question. Just a light, you know, just like, we're going to go out on a softball. Um, <laughs> It's something I certainly, as a woman in the music business, record business, um, have thought about a lot throughout my career. Um, I'm older than you guys. I've been living through it, but I want to know what, where you guys are with that, because you all make a very strong statement um, to women like me. And, and go. <laughs> I guess I always think about how our music it, it holds so much space, and I really like to to like. It's empowering. Yeah, to, it's to just like really important for women. a woman to take yeah. space and like hold their ground, especially with like music and on stage, and not be like afraid to exist, exist, and <laughs> yeah. just have, have like that empty say. space yeah. out there, and that's okay, and we don't have to like smile or like do anything shred. or shred or yeah. yeah. And I I think Even we all do. want like younger girls and women to be inspired by that. And that's like the most honoring thing that happens after a show when a girl comes up and is like, I want to start a band too. And I think we all love that.